right, but y'all, I had to listen to my song out loud. A bitch is depressed. My goddamn retainer, it's missing. Ah, my retainer is missing, guys. You feel me? Like, I, I found my bottom retainer, but my top retainer is missing. And to me, that's the most important. Like, I'm convinced some damn devil from the depths of hell that came into my bedroom and stole my freaking retainer and dragged it down to the fiery pits of friggin' hell and it's somewhere rubbing its dingling all over my damn retainer. Sorry guys, I'm being loud, my bad. I'm so, damn it! <sighs> okay. All right, so let's talk about what um, I'm sure you hit the button for, okay. Y'all better leave Meek Mill alone. Y'all better leave him. That ninja is seconds away from tying one off at the McDonald's on New York and New Jersey Avenue. If you're from D.C., then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if, you are, if you're if you old head, then you know what the heck tying one off is. You feel me? For you people that don't know what tying one off is, meaning getting one of them... I know, I'm sure y'all seen the movies. I'm sure. But, you know, getting one of them rubber, what do they call it, tourniquets or something? Tying it around his arm and shooting one. You feel me? That ninja accused the blogs of being paid by Nicki Minaj to post negative things about him. Now, I'm not saying that things like that don't happen. Things like that do happen. I really do. Like, I... Everything's in place. Every system is in place to either boost someone or destroy someone. In all in in all areas, everything. Ev ev it, it it just believe that. Believe that. If all of a sudden out of the blue, um, you know, your job start messing with you, it's because they didn't set the wheels in motion to get rid of you. You feel me? Or or I don't know, I don't know. But things are in place for a reason. Now, Meek Mill, um, okay, let's say this. I made a video before when I was like, Nicki Minaj, you're not loyal. What is that? Okay, you're not loyal. You gave this man your body. Now you, you know, now you dragging him. You saying crazy things all over the internet. Granted, Meek has done the same thing. But I'm a firm believer in... Two wrongs don't make a right. You know, I mean, you two petty people, which they seem to be two good petty people. Um, you know, y'all could just sit there and go back and forth, back and forth with each other. But I believe that Nikki has the money to do more harm than Meek do. And you know how I feel about Nicki Minaj. You know, I, I I like the girl. I think she's sexy. I like where she came from. I like the moves that she made in order to become a better person or a bigger person or whatever. But um, I I don't I don't like how she playing around in the dirt with him because Mick said that one of these big bloggers I forget her name was in cahoots with with Nicki Minaj in regards to making him look bad. And I'm like, well, wait a minute now, Meek. Hold on, because you've done things to make yourself look bad, you know? And who was that I listened to? I want to say it was a bigger YouTuber. But he was like, I'm sure that him and Nicki were having pillow talk. And Nicki got up in Meek's head and he's already like an insecure dude. He's already like, yeah, he's already like, you know, real sensitive, real insecure. Because if you allow a woman to get up in your head and you the man, and uh, in all situations, a man is the leader in a relationship. But you allow that woman to get up in your head, like, you know, the, the, the greatest story of all times, Adam and Eve. And then you make moves off of what a woman, your woman, the woman that belongs to you, told you. That's you telling me that you're not a strong dude right there. So at any rate, they're saying that Nikki got in Mick Mill's head, which prompted him to go after Drake, which prompted him to 
um, you know, go after Drake. And it was he wasn't built like that to go after Drake. And we know what happened with the back-to-back -back thing. We know. It was terrible. It was friggin' terrible. And yes, Nikki, I give you kudos for hanging around Meek. But were you doing it because you were loyal? Or were you doing it because it was a part of a bigger plan to destroy that young dude? Because... Hire the same woman that was loyal to him and stick by him when they was, I mean, throwing doodle in his face, gonna turn around and when it's all over, shiz on him. You know, and y'all know how men be. You know, he probably ran out there and got him uh, some new um, vagina. You know them. They like to fix everything with vagina. They think vagina can fix the world, can feed the children, can and can save the poor, can can cure AIDS and everything. Men think that running out there and sleeping with another woman is just gonna fix it, and that's not true. What it did was Nikki found out if she ain't plant the girl, and if she ain't say, "Hey, go, you know, screw him so I can leave him," because I'm tired of him anyway. But you know, that is some stuff we will do to get rid of a ninja. Uh, yeah, Becky, can you uh DM him and tell him you want to screw him, please? Thank you real talk but the fact now that he it, oh and then let's talk about the airport thing right the airport thing where him he got into it with some dude that worked at the airport did y'all see the video like i'm gonna put everything in the video when i um get back in the house but did y'all see the video of the young dude he was fighting don't you know the rules you don't acknowledge anything that does not hurt your money if it ain't bothering your money then you don't touch it you don't bother with it you don't concern yourself with it because if it ain't hurting your money leave it alone like you let some dude say something to you i mean and the dude was just so like the dude was like you know he said he tried to take a picture with meek and meek was like nah i don't want no pictures and the dude got in his feelings and was like, you know, screw you anyway. I don't like you anyway. Dude, so dumb. He was so petty. He was so... And then Meek just got caught up in all of it. Then he ended up catching the charge. The dude lost his job, and he should have. Why are you worried about taking pictures? And what you should have been doing was checking bags. That's what you should have been doing. Checking friggin' bags. That's what you do. Check bags, not take pictures, dumb dumb. But... Now, because he didn't got into a fight, and then the the dude, the airport dude, he didn't posted um like a video of his interpretation of the fight, and now Meek is looking even more stupid. You know why you looking stupid, Meek? You know why you looking stupid, Meek? You looking stupid because you entertained something that is not relevant to your money. If it ain't, if it's because guess what? If it's not relevant to your money, guess what it is? It's relevant to taking away your money. If it's not about making it, it's about losing it. And that's what he did. So now people have even less respect for him. Now the thing about the dad from the airport thing. Then now recently he accused Nick, Nicki Minaj and his her friend of conspiring to destroy him in the blogs. No, baby, no. You know what, Meek? You know what, Meek? I'll save you, Meek. I can save you. Call me, Meek. DM me. I can save you. Now, I ain't giving you, you know, we, I ain't talk about it like that. I'm talking about business. Say, Meek, I'm telling you, I got the formula to, 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 to get you back up. You know how, I, you know what I say. Take some Xanax. You know, I'm giving you this one for free. Take some Xanax. Go in your room. Stay there for three days. In Meek's case, Meek need to stay there for about a year. Just stay there for about a year. And then come back. Come back looking totally different. Put some glasses on. I don't know. Start singing R&B. I don't know. I don't know. Do something. But you can't. You can't. You can't keep doing this. Because it ain't nobody else's fault but your own, baby. You need to stay still and be quiet. And I'm partial to to Meek because he looked like this dude I used to mess with back when I was younger. So I'm partial to him. So I kind of feel bad for the ninja. Meek, baby. It, uh, mm, man. <laughs> mm. Have a good one, guys.
got a date tonight with an Aries. Peace.